All right, YouTubers. Uh, you got to excuse my voice. Uh, coming down with the flu last week, and I'm just now getting over it good. But uh, I've been looking all over the internet for videos on Atherin Genesis trucks. You can find the blue box trucks were pretty easy on um, how to take them apart and assemble them. But uh, what you can't find, or at least I can't find, is how to disassemble the Genesis trucks. So today's video is going to be about showing you how to disassemble these trucks. And um, I can't remember the guy's name right off hand, but he was asking questions about these uh, trucks, how to take them apart and disassemble them. Uh, a fellow on uh, Facebook was wanting to know how to take these apart. And I made the comment about uh, stay away from the Genesis trucks. Uh, they're a lot different than these. And I'm going to take these apart and I'm going to show you. And what started this whole thing was this locomotive here. Um, this is a SD70. Yeah, I got to do a little more work to it. I got it on eBay for $41 plus shipping. And it is Atherin Genesis. I do have the handrails. I just haven't installed them, and most of the detail parts are still there. I'd say 99% of the detail parts are still there. So, that was a good deal for 40 bucks. But the problem was, when I got it, the trucks were broken. And the side plates on these work a lot different than the side plates on these. So... We are going to uh, take them apart and show you the difference. All right, guys. What time you're working on this? Uh, make sure you got a few tools. You're going to need uh, a Phillips and a flathead screwdriver. Uh, you might not need the tweezers. You might need them. You might not. You will definitely need uh, at least two um, worn-out blades. I like to use the ones where. The tip is broke off and they're no longer pointed so uh, make sure you got at least two of those make sure you got a few q-tips in case you have to do some cleaning some new grease or oil whichever one you prefer I like to have also handy a um, travel hook that comes in handy uh, make sure you got something to clean them with I use uh, alcohol or I will use uh, acetone call me crazy but I like the acetone um, also always like to have some super glue but I prefer nail glue over super glue it dries a lot quicker and the bond has a tendency to last a lot longer but at the same time if I ever need to pop something loose that glue will allow it versus other super glues uh, make sure you have a container for cleaning stuff in and a container for keeping smalls in. Now, I would love to just use this one and show you how to take them apart, but I've already had to modify these and put them back together um, because these were broke off all together on the side and this is where your power pickup is. So, guys, give me one second, and let me get the shell off of the silver one here, and I will show you exactly how to take these trucks apart without damaging them. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get all the screws out of this that I need to get out to take the shell off, and it takes a few minutes, so I'm going to do that off camera, and then I'll be right back at you. All right, now that we got it open... um. I can show you how to get into the trucks to remove them and this is going to be the same for either end. Uh, I guess I'm going to need a soldering iron because I forgot with this particular locomotive I took the plastic tabs off and soldered directly to the board. So give me a second I'm going to have to break this solder loose with a soldering iron. So let me grab that let it get hot and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I've got my solder iron hot, and this is what I was telling you about these tabs right here. Um, I soldered mine on, so I don't have to worry about 
the connection ever failing and they're not hard to remove just get them get that solder hot and pop it off just that easy all right let's do both of them like that because uh you actually have two pickup wires one that runs to each side and when you put this back together make sure you get the uh right wire to the right side because if you put this wire on this side and this one on this side and that one's right and this one's wrong you will short your locomotive out so make sure that's has its orientation correctly done so you don't short out your locomotive all right this one's going to be a pain to get the solder hot but no problem we'll get it out we always do. Hmm. Might have to get the uh, tweezers out for this one and hold it. So let's see. Right handed working in a left handed world and vice versa this morning. Be careful not to melt anything while you're doing this. There we go. And it's off. That easy. Now we can set our soldering iron to the side until we're ready to put it back together but also there's one other thing I'm going to show you guys about these whenever uh, it gets time to it and, and simply at this point just take them wires you took loose and pull them out and normally what you would run into would be these connectors like this right here and they just slide over you push your wire through that tiny little hole right there and then take this and slide it over and that will keep your wire on uh there's only one problem with that it's crap and eventually they will come loose uh, at this time you're going to want to focus on this tower cap right here and what i like to do is simply take a travel hook and just get under the edge and pop it up and that's it set that to the side um yeah it's time to clean this one's got some dirt in there so but after that lift up here and remove the entire worm gear slash drive shaft um I just take them out so that they're not in the way and then I can clean all of this you see all that get it in focus here all that build up around that bearing um, and this engine has not been run very long it's not very old I actually bought this one brand new and uh, I don't run it very often so that is actually kind of surprising how dirty that is but now all you have to do is pick up and that truck will stay on the ground and you can take your whole locomotive and set it to the side. Now we can focus on this. Um, with your regular Genesis, which most people are familiar with, you know, same process, pop the cap. Pull the worm gear. There's your truck. And at this point, you would simply take a small flathead screwdriver and pry these off gently. Uh, and then you would come here and take off these three clips. And pretty much the whole thing will fall apart in your hands nice and easy like not the case with this um 
first thing you're going to start with is you're going to want to turn this thing over and you're going to want to find four tabs now there are four tabs on here and they are located behind the front and rear wheels uh, you're going to have one, two, three, four. And let's see, you, you can barely see them right there. There's one there, there's one there, there's there one, and there's that one. And that's what I like these blades for, these worn out blades, is because you need something very thin to get in there. Because um, I found out the hard way, if you just try to pry these off you're going to break them quickly so i come in from this side find those tabs and i don't try to pry them back i just leave the worn out blades as spacers Um, sometimes you can get away with two blades, sometimes you can get away with just the one, but uh, the more you put in it, the easier it will open up for you. So, let's get a third one in it, and then I can come here to the fourth corner and use my flathead, and it should pop open for me. Keyword is should. Use anything that won't destroy it. Okay, oh, there we go. Just be gentle, work them gently, and they will open up. Um, a lot of times, there we go, come down here to this other end and kind of pull a little bit down here on this end. And then you come back to the other end and pull, but we've lost our spacers. So we're going to have to reset this in so we can gently tug it open. And there's that one right there. You see it right there? That little, little tiny plate. I'm trying to work this blade under. And that's the reason I like these blades is because you can use the uh, worn out side. <sighs> And what you want to do is, I can show you better when I get this bottom off. There we go. Like I said, these, these are not the easiest ones. Uh, you can see these holes and there's corresponding pins in there. And what I essentially do is take and shove this between them where it keeps that pin from going back in that hole. Now that you've gotten those off, you see these four little tabs sticking up on the bottom. Those are what hold the side frames on. And once you get those on, you gently rock them apart. Be very gentle because once you break them, that's it. All right, we got that one moving. And we got that one moving. You see these little tabs here? They go in those holes right there. And um, then that pin comes up to the bottom and holds it. So let's get the other one off. Um, you got to be very careful. The, I cannot ex <clears throat> express just how fragile these are compared to to uh blue box trucks they're, they're not they don't even have the same type of gears in them so they're non-compatible there we go we got that one off without damage and once you do that oh you will fall right out and you're left with the main assembly that holds the gears i rarely have to take this part apart uh most of your trouble is going to be found right here when it comes to making bad contact because unlike uh these genesis where it uses these uh brass bearings to pick up power from behind the wheel 
transfer it into the plate, it actually uses uh, these and transfers it into the side frame. That's why I'm telling you they're different because now your pickups are on the inside of your side frame. So if you break these off, it ain't like back in the day, you know, you break a side frame off, you can just keep driving this thing along until you get new side frames. This one's going to stop working until you get this fixed. So, guys, that is the, the main thing I wanted to show you how to disassemble these. Reassembly is uh, just as easy to put back together. They clean just like any other set of wheels. Uh, and then you just put them all back together. So, uh, one more thing I do want to show you guys today, um, this modification. And what I'm going to do is gently pry this copper pickup plate off of here gently i cannot stress gently enough to you guys you break it that's on you i told you to be gentle so you might have to work these in it like you did earlier and start working and prying and and gently getting underneath them but once you get it to a certain point it will just pop off there it goes this is going to be my last modification before i clean these and actually put them back together uh if i'd have known this when i first bought atherin genesis when i took this one apart and put sound in it i would have done this step but I didn't know this at the time, and after working on several of my other Atherin Genesis, I've done what they call learn the hard way. So this is another slight modification I make to mine. Set that to the side. And see, this one also uses that little plastic tab I was telling you about that I despise. So what I'm actually going to do is solder this on here permanently so I don't have to worry about it ever coming loose and causing me issues. So without further ado, let's get to that right quick. Get you guys in focus here. I got a new phone for Christmas, so still learning how to use this bad boy. There we go. And soldering is just like any other soldering. You get your metal hot first, and then you just touch it with a bead of solder, and pretty much does the rest. So. Guys, I'm not going to bore you with the details of soldering. Just remember how all this goes back together. And uh, after you get done cleaning and service them, put it back together gently. Make sure you do both pickups on both trucks on both ends of the locomotive. Just remember, whatever you do to this end down here, you should do to the other end down there. So, All right, guys. Thank you. Give it a thumbs up and a like. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you need any help with anything. I'm more than happy to help. Thank you.